Hi, welcome to another series of Digital Music Education DME series for short and I'm still here with Junila. We're talking about the role of bloggers in music marketing. You're listening to us live on junila.net yeah. and youtube.com slash Junila online. Press the subscribe button and subscribe for more of this videos to come your way. You can follow on Facebook Junila.net on Instagram Junila.net and you Twitter at Junila. My name is Mimi. What role do bloggers play in the life of musicians or artists? When artists finish the process of producing their music, licensing and everything and they want people to get their song it is the art it is the bloggers that actually push it to their audience okay so you can have all the best songs you can have all the great delivery and everything but in today's world if you don't team up with the best bloggers mm -hmm. to connect your music with your audience you wouldn't cross border okay. that is what it means so one complaint i always hear from artists mm -hmm. is they don't know how to yeah. contact this the good bloggers in quote. It's it's very simple. It's very simple. For instance, contacting Johnila.net, Beanie Words, Ghana Ghana Nyum, D Class, D Class, um, Africa Base, mm -hmm. and all the big blogs you know out there, Pulse and all these ones. It's very simple. Like you get on our website, we always have this option called contact us. Okay. You can send us a direct message. Now here's the mistake people do. They get on these platforms and they're like hi 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 okay. without asking a question because yeah. we have automated messages that actually direct you to what to request mm -hmm. when doing inquiries mm -hmm. so when you come on our website you click the contact option and we provide you a form to send your questions in fact those que those questions actually come straight to our emails the best thing to do is go straight forward. I'm an artist from Ghana and I want to release my song on this date, please. What are the T and C's? What are your terms and, and conditions? conditions? You can even add your number and your social media handles, your YouTube preferably, because okay. here's one thing we always do. We want to make sure that the artist we want to work with is actually active online. Mm -hmm. We are bloggers. We deal with online platforms. So if you don't have a certain leverage online, it's very difficult working with you. Unless you all and we, we both understand that the work is big and we have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you have to send us message detailing what you are looking for but you don't come into our inbox and be like uh, good morning how are you doing what's up uh, where are you no this is like business so you have to go straight to the point another way you can also contact us is by taking our numbers from our platforms give us a direct call okay. call us and go straight forward to the issue my name is this person i uh, have a song i want to release blah 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 if you're an artist uh, manager record label rep or you are an artist personal assistant doing that inquiry just go straight to forward hi my name is janila and i work with abcd we have a song coming on the 15th and we feel it is right to release it on your platform mm -hmm. what are your terms and conditions and how do we reach you for business discussions straightforward mm -hmm. you can also come straightforward uh social media handles send us a direct message okay stop acting like like you understand what i mean like when people want to seek favors they know how to play stuff okay drop mm -hmm. all those long chains Go straight forward to the issue. Mm. Let's get things done. Okay. That is the best way to contact a blogger. Mm. Are blogs too mm. expensive for artists or musicians? Or um, mm. are you too expensive? We are not too expensive. We are expensive because of the kind of services we render. Okay. I wouldn't sound cheap because the work is tedious. It's not done by one person. Mm -hmm. It's done by a team of um bloggers workers because we are looking for a great job done for you okay you understand so we are not expensive we have terms and conditions even if it is like a nine digit figure mm -hmm. we have ways that you can pay and feel like yo there's no pressure in doing this okay. so we are not expensive but you should also know that the volume of work determines what you are about to pay for but again blogs are not expensive what i want artists to know is that 
the best way to deal with a blogger is to have a long-term working relationship with him. Okay. You don't pay for one song and you come after the next three years and want to release another project. You're definitely paying for another song. So you should definitely have a master plan working with. Mm -hmm. Then with that, you stay in business with that blogger. Okay. So, for the sake of the artist who would be listening, mm. and um, what are some blocks, in your personal opinion, mm. are doing well, especially in Africa and in Ghana? Uh, yes, so I just gave some of my colleagues a shout out mm -hmm. earlier on. But in Africa, I feel there are a lot of blocks doing so well. We have Chonila.net, Africa based D class. We have not to not just OK.com in Nigeria. We have two exclusive. We have music in Africa.net. Um, a lot of them out there. Just go on Google. Just just Google them and and like contact them. Check what they can actually do for you. We have one Linda EKG. We have um, yes, these are blogs doing so well. When it comes to music, even though Linda EKG is not a straightforward uh, music platform, she has been doing so well for music in Africa. So I respect her impact. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jonila, and thank you too for listening to us on youtube.com slash Jonila online and on Facebook, Jonila.net, Instagram, Jonila Net, Twitter as Jonila. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you next time.